Hello there, I'm Aldra Hill, and welcome back to Victoria 2 Spain. We are kicking America's ass by defensive fighting. It's 1898, and we're fighting in Mexico. We actually have war score because of our ridiculous battles. And there's going to be another one soon. Ooh. Oh, America. Ooh, America, what are you doing? Let's get going, boys. Oh, actually, no, they should stay there and defend. They're really garbage. There you go. And then you guys go there as well. And I think... Hmm, how many artillery are we sending? Hey, we won! Six war score. Nice! We killed 37,000. What I'm going to do now... Uh, I'm going to do these guys. So that's 23 infantry. Yeah, let's send them this way and go to help out America. How many men were there? 124. Wow. Okay, let's send 50,000 back. They're just the artillery, so you don't need them. They can come in to help if necessary. So we are experiencing some morale loss right now. Can we please... Dude, there's so many of these guys. But better that than nothing. Yes, it's just guards. Oh, thank God. Pure infantry. Guards, too, so they're actually going to be useful. Okay, just going to keep helping these guys out. Help them out a little bit here. Beautiful. And we'll send the 20,000 over there. Don't want to overrun things. Hey, we won. They pieced out. Only 0.3 war score? We killed thousands of them. Get out of here with that crap. Okay. Where are you going? You, my friend, are going to go right here. You are going to go here, because we need to just continue to defend. Hey, who else are they fighting? All right, everybody. Holy crap. All right. What we're going to do is we're actually going to separate off the clippers and we're going to take the battleships and we're going to see if we can find some bad people to fight it's going to be awesome we can do this yeah we're good i need to stay on this defensive section because if we get attacked we're just going to lose a war score so it's important that we just stay and play defensive it's all that matters play defensive Underway, underway refueling. Interesting special supply vessels. Naval units could replenish at sea and thus improve their endurance. One organization. What? Okay, we got a little bit too much here. We just got to keep splitting up the reinforcing armies. That's the key. We don't want too many dudes standing around. Cool. There we go. We got him. Now what are you going to do? Fight me. Fight me, bro. Ah, uh, here we go. We got a bunch of battleships and ironclads and cruisers. Where's their navy? 34. Because of defender blockades. I love it. So, we do now have the opportunity to do some stuff. Namely, we could try to take these guys again. We could try to fight them. So, add war goal. Take from Sphere of Influence. I could take Uruguay. I need Uruguay. That's a thing that I genuinely need. Obviously, I could go... Oh, free allied cores. We have Espana in Arizona and New Mexico. Hand New Mexico back to Nova Espana. Oh, yeah? Are there actually cores here? It's like two provinces, man. Tucson and Animus. That does not seem worth it. I could make them dismantle fortifications. I could make them reparations. I could cut down to size. I think the take from Sphere of Uruguay makes more sense. Because I need them anyway. Don't like that it cost me infamy. I should be able to just do this because I want to. But that's 
Ah, uh, no, but I don't want to take them from their sphere. I want to remove them from the sphere. Ah, uh, damn it. I don't want to take from sphere. I think this is so stupid. It's supposed to be that if I puppet them, I can get, if I, you know, do other things to them. But no, I have to just puppet them. It's so dumb. Hate it, man. <sighs> All right. I have to puppet them. I want to kick out America. Actually, only six in sphere, to be honest. So I could do that. I could. Just humiliate them as well. Make them lose 40 score. I can't believe free allied cores cost this much though. It's bullcrap. And New Mexico back. Free people. I could also free an entire province. I could free Texas. Liberate country. So if I liberated Texas. I can only do one state at a time. The free people, New England. Yeah, you can only do one state at a time. But I could liberate an entire state. And then declare war on it. But there is Rio Grande. And there's Texas. I could liberate Texas. I could liberate the Californian Republic. California is no small state, guys. Make the U.S. not a great power so we can't sphere people at all. That would be great, but unfortunately, there's no way I can do that, Iceman. The USA is too much of a powerhouse. They're so high score. I'll do that later on, maybe. Like San Diego. Oh, wow. San Diego's oil, 100,000, 120. Oh, wow. Look at that. They got a lot of people here. Let's take a look at their actual industrial base for, for America. How much of it is California? Okay, like none of it is California. Almost none of it is California. Holy crap. They have like no factories. It's all in the east. Are they not building new factories? What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? I don't know what to do. I really want to punish them. I need to take Uruguay. And I need to take, like, Chile. To puppet them, right? I have to take all these people. It's really annoying. I have to get all this bloody infamy to do it. <sighs> but... I just... oh, I'd be so good if I could just steal that. I'm tempted to just try to steal Paraguay now. Actually, no one is going after them, so it doesn't really matter. So I could just get enough points on them just to discredit, just to remove the USA, and then I could justify. So there's not really any point getting a bunch of infamy just for the purpose of pissing them off for no reason, you know? Bringing allied cores seems to make the most sense, but it's like one province. Humiliate is three. So it takes three years to get back. I really want to acquire a state. That's what I actually want to do, but it's not a good idea. Man reps. Mantle forts. Dude, what should I do? I can't afford to free people anyway, so I can't, there's no point in talking about that. I'm tempted just to piece them out, to be honest, and white piece it. Humiliate them, maybe. It only reduces their prestige by 40. That's the thing. The score goes down by 40. That's nothing. They're a thousand ahead of me. Because they're ridiculous industrial power. I mean, the real cool thing would be to dismantle them. But cut them down to size. That's 13. It means they can't lose army. They have to disarm. That'd be cool. But I don't think it's going to work. I think I should just peace out. I think I'm just going to peace. I think I'm going to peace. Yeah. There we go. Cuba's ours. That's the best thing to do. That's the best thing to do. Yep, it is. Because I do not want to be fighting a protracted war. The longer my war, the longer my infamy is going to stay high. I do not want my infamy to stay high. There we go. Let's get our troops back. 
There's no point doing it, you know? Why inconvenience myself any further than I already am? Alright, cool. At least lots of factories have gotten built, which is good. Belgium. And I do want to justify onto Paraguay as well. But I really... Oh, you know, I really want to do Italy. I want to do Italy. I'm going to wait for Italy. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait for Italy. I really want to declare everything else. But I can't. I hate it. I hate that so much that I just can't just take it. I, I want it. Give it to me. Still waiting for these assholes to stop being jerks. All right, so we just basically just have to wait until these guys repair for some reason. Why it takes so long to repair these ships, I do not know. 57. Lots of rubber. Still 57. Still 57. It's just not repairing. Long work hours. Consider legislation. Let's just go. Let's just go. Let's bounce. I'm out. Oh boy. Do I have any other fleets that are moving? I also have a lot of soldiers here. Yeah, let's probably watch out for that. Um, do I have other fleets that are moving? That's still tons of naval bases. Barely any time has passed as well. Now they all died. Incident in Iberian Odif. Press. Alright, take a look at the soldiers. 4.7. Anywhere who's got extra... So Leon Castilla, you could do some more craftsmen, my friend. Definitely. I want those electrical gears. Okay? I want those telephones. I want making things now. Start making things. Go. And once Steel Breach Loaded is always done, I really need to start getting things like Mnemonic Press. Or actually, maybe Bessemer Pro. Yeah, you know what? We need Bessemer. We definitely need Bessemer. 10% steel production output, but iron production, coal production, precious metals, mine size. Ah, oh, look at this. You can get 9% steel production output here. And I also have Open Her Furnace. This is why everyone is kicking my ass with steel production. This is why I'm getting wrecked in the markets. Actually, this is actually a game where I can genuinely say, this is why I'm getting wrecked in the markets, and not be ridiculous. Automobiles. We can make cars. Okay. Let's get the big boys. So, what does a car require? It is rubber. Can't do that, but steel, machine parts, and electrical gears. So anywhere I've got electrical gears, I need to build them. Castilla Nueva. That is my second highest thing, and I am not building valuable goods. I do need explosives, and explosives are expensive. I would rather probably buy artillery and make sure I can corner the market elsewhere. No, I need artillery. I desperately need artillery. I have the ammunition. This is the thing. Can goods I have? Fine. We'll leave. We'll leave Castellanueva alone. Fine. But Granada, for example. I need, steamer, I need steamer shipyards. I have to have steamer shipyards. They're so expensive, and I make so many of them. Clipper shipyards. I do not need that. Automobile. Boom. Granada and cars. Sounds good. Esconia, Aragon. Make electrical gears here. Perfect. Do we need cement? This is literally the only places that make cement. Oh, God. I really do need it. To be honest, we're only making two steamers here. Let's get rid of this, and let's build automobiles in Vasconia, Aragon. We have the steel mill, we have the electrical gear. That will help. Just a couple factories. Just a couple. It'll be really good. Uh, we have dye, actually. Maybe we should be making fabric. Take a look. Fabric. We actually make a lot of fabric. Yeah, we need to be encouraging more people to exist. Colonial incident. 
A colonial regiment of our colonies is an encounter of a regiment from another colonial power, which had, according to a military report, crossed into our colonial claim in an obscure waterway, a fair distance in the colony's hinterland. The report goes further on to state that the foreign regiment was, when encountered by patrol, in the process of conducting a geological survey. Operation Iberian Fury. Buddy. That means, for another year, we can declare war on the Fran on France. Place in the sun, Casey Spelly. On anything we want that's a colonial control. Any colonial province we want, we can take it. We could take Algeria. We could take Iran. We could take this weird thing. I don't care about that, but there's there's some stuff we could take here. That's really good. Because there is rubber and stuff nearby here that I think is good for us. And this is just wood, but there are high population centers with really good resources. Like this is precious metals. Not a lot of people, but look, there's some rubber here. There's rubber there. That's Liberia right there. That is Liberia. We could take that state right now. And that's a lot of people. 200,000 people right there. 300,000. 450,000 people in a very useful state. They are allied with Austria. The French do not have... They have ships. Because we have the most ships in the game. The French don't have ships, and they have 72 brigades. The French don't have ships, and they have 72 brigades. Okay. 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 This is our time to shine. This is our time to shine. We can actually just conquer France. We can actually destroy France. We actually might be able to destroy France. We don't even need to do this defensively. They, we can actually kill them. Dude, we can knock them out of a great power. We can make them not a great power. We can actually knock out France as a great power and just start carving them up. I can put them in my sphere. <laughs> oh, that would be insane. Okay, where are the rest of my soldiers? Please repair. I don't know why they're not repairing, but I don't care. Oh, yes, that'd be so good. There's the, why are these clever convoys not being just used? Build the ships, dude. How long does it take to build buy clipper convoys? How many goods are there out there in the world? Is there a shortage of... You know, there probably is actually a shortage of clipper convoys. Now that I think about it. Yeah, let's do that. You have the materials to repair. I must not. It's because they're all freaking clippers, isn't it? I don't have clipper convoys. That's exactly why. You're 100% right. Let's get steamers because we actually do make steamer transports. So... There's basically no reason not to build a pile of steamer transports now. Go. I bet you that will get done much faster. Not that much, but it's still going to be faster. Okay. Research. Bessemer process. Okay. Or we could wait a year. We could get organization and mobilization size, but I think it'd be better... We got Bessemer process for that steel because we are shy of that by a large amount. Yeah. So we've got a lot of soldiers. Algeria has just popped out. Tunis has just popped out. Italy was forced to surrender a bunch of people. Yes. Give me that. You're, my, you're all in my sphere now. Come to Papa. Oh, yes. Give me those spherelings. Okay. And we do have soldiers in Africa ready to begin fighting. 
Great, 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 great. Let's get these guys over there. And we can just start pouring through them and then just like destabilizing their region. We just gotta get those soldiers over there. We have till December. Can we do it? That's the question. Okay, two more trip. One more trip after this. We'll have enough. Ah, oh, dude. We can actually just full on conquer them. Like, they don't have enough soldiers to stop us. As long as we just rush it. <sighs> okay. These guys need an engineer. Done. Perfect. This also requires an engineer. Good. These guys need one more Hussar. Also get a Hussar here. These guys need a Hussar. Yep, 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 yep. And an engineer. And then we're also going to get some get some where, where, where can we group troops okay more hussars please okay because we're gonna need to to rush sieging just making a hundred percent check it's the hussars that do the seat do the reconnaissance yeah three for that good the engineers give two siege so that's good yeah, so we need the reconnaissance, but we also need the siege. Okay, because we've got the forces, we just need the engineers and the siege ability. Let's go. Dude, let's do this. This is going to be good. This is going to be really good. Don't have any. Do they seriously not have any ships? We'll do this in the next episode, guys. Do be sure to leave me a like and a comment in this video. Let me think of the series so far. I was Alex. I continue to be in this Victoria to Spain. Bye bye.